Okay, so here is the 1967 Airstream Globetrotter for sale. Um, it is also a photo booth business. Um, we did approximately 15 events last year and had a ton of fun with it. Um, the reason we are selling the Airstream is uh, purely because we are just too busy to run the business effectively and we would love to see it go to somebody who's able to devote more time to it. I'm just going to go to the outside. So the panels are really, really nice on this one. It has been polished. Um, it took a little over 200 hours to polish. You can see my reflection pretty well in it. <laughs> um, we had the whole Airstream win over by a um, person who specializes in these trailers. Um, he went through the electrical portion of it specifically, um, upgraded the power supply, um, and checked everything out because with starting this business, we did not want to get to an event and have um, any types of problems with it. Um, so it has a, a fresh Marinco power supply. Um, there are a couple little condition issues with it. One, it's kind of tough to see, but there is a dent right about here. Um, it's not very deep, but it is there. And then there's another one right here. Um, there is uh, one of the, the wire for the taillights. It does work, but I just... I, I think I got it with a ladder when I was polishing it and just pulled it out and I just ran it along the outside. Um, this back plate we got custom made because the other one was missing and that has access to the uh, breaker box and whatnot. Um, all the glass is really good with the exception of the piece by the entry. Right here is just a piece of plexi. And then the piece Underneath the front awning is also a piece of plexi. We did get the front awning remade, and that's brand new, um, just to protect it. Um, as far as uh, lights, all the lights work, blinkers work. We are missing just one lens right there, you can see. Um, the spare is a brand new spare. The tires are brand new, well, right around 3,000 miles, maybe a little less than that. Um, the tanks are there, but the gas does not function. Um, as far as power supplies go, this is the one that runs the uh, the lights for the Airstream and the running lights. And then, just since it's an old trailer, um, when I first purchased it, I wired in a four-pin um, brake light set that just is magnetic and it and it's hidden away and you can't see it. It's actually we t tuck it away inside the bumper. And I'll go ahead and show you that. Um, on my way to the back, this is all on the side with the door. Um, there was a blowout at one time, um, and there's a little bit of damage from that. Um, these are the lights I was talking about. So it's just wired in. If you need it, it's got a magnet on it, and then we just tape it on there. And that's just purely a backup thing if they need to be on there. All the time, they just stay tucked in there. And since they're a magnet, they sort of stick. Same with this one and just go like that and they tuck right in um power supply has been updated like i said um as far as the polishing goes uh it presents extremely well um we researched um just the the, the methods to do it and we had it done um and we are really really happy with how it came out um this stairway was built custom um, we wanted to make sure that it was a stairway that was safe for guests to go in and out of. We actually cut down the stairway so that it would fit through the doorway so that at the end of an event, we just lift the stairs right into the, into the, in, into the doors. Um, I'm going to, so the photo booth works this way. You'll walk in. And when you go in, you go and you sit to the right where there's a bench made. This bench is also has storage on it. So there's storage down there. Um, and then you have this curved black um, kind of screen. Sorry, I need to adjust this real quick. Usually they're accessed a little bit, or they're a little tighter, but we just ac actually access some of the storage back there. So that's the backdrop for the photo booth. Here's the photo booth itself. There's the flash. There's the camera. It is a Canon T3. This is the flat, the computer, which is a flat screen 
um, touchscreen computer, as well as um, when you're taking your pictures, this is what you see yourself in. Um, this is all mounted in a road case, so you can take it in and out of the Airstream if you need to. Um, and we actually break it down and fold it together so that we can, uh, when we travel, just so that it doesn't fall over. The printer is a DMP photo printer, and it's down here on the side. It takes about 10 to 11 seconds to um, print out the photos, and they come out in strips like this. And for every event we do, we do uh, come up with, we do different photos. So these are just some samples that we sent off to um, some, some customers that we had. Also with the business, in, uh, actually, let me just keep focusing. Here's our logo, um, business cards, all that stuff's included, all the artwork for that. Um, but back to the photo booth itself. Um, when you have a guest come in, they come in, they push the start button like this, it tells you to get ready. And then you take three, it'll take three pictures, one, and you can see like when you're in here, I'm able to, it'll show a mirror view of, of what is going on. So um, they can change poses in between the shot. <clears throat> now this is zoomed out because we were uh, just adjusting the camera, it tells you thank you. And then as it's printing, the photo booth prints out right here. So the printer is going. All right. So there are the photos themselves, printed out and ready to go. If you look, the quality is really great. Um, these photos are, are Pretty high resolution and we can blow them up to 5x7 and 8x10s very easily. Um, here's the back of the trailer. Um, we use this mainly as storage um, but we did keep everything intact that we wanted to um, in case somebody else down the road wanted to restore it or in case we wanted to restore it and do some camping in it. So it does have the refrigerator right here. Um, the stove is right there. Now I can actually walk around. There's the stove. Of course, all the lights work. Um, fan works. Um, and, and like I said, we did go um, through all the efforts to have uh, this checked out to be made safe. A, we did not want to anybody to get hurt. And secondly, we didn't want to have any electrical problems, i.e. have an electrical fire for some reason. Um, so everything else is pretty much intact. Um, lots of great stories, which we store lots of our props in. You can see there's some different props there. Um, this is also great storage. It's just a big green closet. <clears throat> this is the back of the photo booth. Okay, so this is your flash right here. There's your camera. That's the computer. And here's your DNP printer, photo booth printer. Okay. The AC um, has been serviced, but we've had a hard time getting it to work. And to be completely honest with you, um, pulling up to wedding venues um, and other venues specifically, they're oftentimes not able to give us the right power we need. So we usually do not run it. Um, and plus, most of the events are at night, so we, we really can set up a fan and get away with it pretty easily. Um, if you look at the interior, the interior is in really nice shape. The, all of the outlets work, of course. Um, we did have two new breakers done. <clears throat> I'm gonna step back outside. So this stairway folds in. It is kind of heavy and just with holding this phone right now. I'm not gonna try and lift it in myself. But just want to go ahead and close the door so you can see how the door lines up. There's the door seam right there. Um, when I was told about Airstreams, um, looking at Airstreams, I was always told to look at the gaps of the door. Um, this is the stairway right here. We just have that recessed up in there, and that does come down. <clears throat> Underneath the carpet, everything's super solid. There are maybe one or two little soft spots. This was done with linoleum at some time. 
and there are traces of the old floor where we pulled out um, the day bed that was here and then also the bed that was over there. There was like a, a bed here and then there was a bed here. Um, so there's a little soft spot maybe right here. Not too bad though. And then there's another little kind of like bulging spot right here. And that really is it on the whole trailer. Um, we, we looked for a long time and looked at a lot of Airstreams that were um, not in the greatest of shape. So um, definitely uh, feel like we found a really good strong structurally one. Um, bearings were done. So as far as the business goes, everything is included. Um, obviously anything you need to set up the Airstream. The leveling book jacks, of course, the wheel chocks, the stairway. Um, and then also all of this luggage is filled with props. Um, for example, this one's filled with sunglasses. Um, don't know exactly which ones are which here, so we'll just go ahead and open them up. All the vent luggage is vintage, so this is wigs and hats, props like that. Um, so every, sorry about that, all of our business contracts are also included, um, all of our media, our website is included, logo done, um, you'll receive lo login to um, all of the accounts that we use, all the social media accounts as well, um, comes with a really nice long power supply. This is a hat rack that was made, we've got tables. Um, these are all full of props as well. Um, this is actually kind of like a red carpet that lights up. And then these are some brass stanchions that go along with that. Um, and then, um, as written in our contract, if there is inclement weather and they're we are unable to set up outside, we do have a pipe and drape um, available to where we can bring the photo booth itself inside and set up a pipe and drape to do the photo booth as well. Anyways, that is about it. Um, feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Hope that you guys have a fantastic day.